What we're going to do today, however, <clears throat> is... I, I definitely don't think it's bots. I definitely don't think there are 1,700 bots. Especially because he has the subscribers to uh, to match. So, uh, what we're going to do today... Uh, what did we end at? I think we ended at like 20... 2100 something like that it was very good i was i was glad 2130 i think and we're gonna draft some <clears throat> traditional ikoria layer of the behemoths i'll purchase this draft i'll hop on into this queue i will listen to my pets in the background making all kinds of noises <clears throat> and i'll wait for these seats to fill Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One story time bug. I don't think I'm going to do story time right now. Well, for one, Mike is not going to be here. Uh, and for two, I don't know. I just have to be in the mood. I have to be in the mood to read like 4,000 words. I mean, we'll definitely do it. <clears throat> but it just takes a special kind of mood for me to want to like read that much. Josh, thank you so much for the reason, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, just, just to be clear, Kerwood is talking about a brand new Michael B. fan fiction that he wrote, which is about 4,000 words. <sighs> That's delicious. Yes, Mike being there would probably be best. Correct. I agree. <clears throat> see, look. Oh, did you see? I was in there twice. I don't know what the deal is, man. I don't know how that works or why it looks like that. Two Godzillas. I'm going to take this fiend artisan. This guy's uh, a, a beast. He's actually a nightmare. First time catching you live, you channel, love your content. Thank you so much, Daft Turtleman. Turtleman? That's a good name. That's a good name. I, like, did you guys see what I'm talking about, though? Sper Spermafrost. <clears throat> see, now there's eight different players, but in the actual view, there's only there's me and seven others. And one of the seven is me. I don't get it. <coughs> Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Am I going crazy? It's a bug. Okay. That's all I wanted to... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, we get past an emergent ultimatum, huh? Huh. It's not the best, but it's still pretty good for seven. Or a Necropanther, which lets us be Abzan. Necropanther's pretty good, too. No way you'll cast Ultimatum? Why? Like I cast I cast Eerie Ultimatum like three times in the other draft. Heron is also good. I'm going to seize is interesting if we can get multiples. <clears throat> I think Necropanther is very good. I'm going to take the Heron. <clears throat> I think the Ultimatum can come. <clears throat> oh, Migratory Greathorn. Let's take that guy. This has been one of the best cards in the format. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you. Oh, Big Black Deck, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Congrats on our sub, baby. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's something right there. I'm going to take that. This, was, this, however, was fantastic when we had it. So I'm going to take that. And we'll see how this, this shakes out. Eerie Ultimatum was the bomb in Phantoms, yo. <clears throat> this is the only good Ultimatum? I don't agree with that at all. I think Genesis Ultimatum is fantastic. It draws you five. I think Je the Jeskai Ultimatum is fantastic. That's a wild take, my dude. Crystal is interesting. I don't necessarily like the Crystals, but... It seems pretty good for the fixing if we're going to try to Eerie Ultimatum here. Also, we can, like, cycle Great Sandworms. Kitty Cat's, like, looking for something. I don't know what it is. 
I'm gonna, I am going to take the sandworm. I, I rarely see sandworms, and with your ultimate, it's really good. I agree. <clears throat> hmm. I think that it, this. I mean, like Vantasaur is nice because the cycling again. Ram through is fine. I don't think it's. I. I think it's good. I feel like Kitty Cat is chasing something that I should be aware of. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice, easy choice. Splendor Mare. Hold on a second, guys. I have no idea. I like an Oracorn. Yeah, 4-4 four, four Vigilance. 4 life is good. Blade Banish is a card that has definitely gone up in value for me. So I'm going to take it. Vulpakeet, also fine. The ultimatum did not come back, so... Put the Heron over here. I wish we got the Necropanther, but... I think Swallow Hole is just great. Oh, uh, the soft game thing is usually in the upper left of the screen. Yes. Yes, it is. You're right. Good call. Yeah, it's usually on the right for <clears throat> Magic Online. Oh, the crystal came back? Oh, that's gas. That's gas. This is pack one? This is a really good pack one. Oh, man. Death's Oasis. I think this is actually one of the better, you know, shard enchantments. Another oh, Heron. I mean, like, so far five drop dies, we get a four drop back for free. And, like, it's best of it's best of three. Um, pacifism is obviously great. I think pacifism is better than easy prey, but I'm pretty sure we're just taking the oasis here because it seems good. Sweet looking triome, a mentor. I do like the lifelink mentor. Another migratory great horn. Let's take the other great horn. Right, but you can mill, you can mill yourself out, but then you can just sacrifice it. Like if it's if you're ever at risk to like mill yourself, you just sacrifice it. <clears throat> like it's not like it's it's trapped on the board forever. Uh, I I want this land, but I think <clears throat> Grim Dancer is a little more important here. <clears throat> Grim Dancer is just really sweet. Considering we have <clears throat> Fiend Artisan and like Aerial Ultimate, and we have a lot of ways to get things back from the graveyard, which is pretty nice. Kitty cat's on the chair. Oh, Farfinder? Oh, man. Okay. Farfinder's great because when our four drops die, we can get a Farfinder, get another land. Or we can just mutate onto it. And that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Necro Panther. 
oh man, everything's coming back. And we got Grim Dancer and Splendor Mare and Fiend Artisan, all three of which are fantastic to, uh... Oh yeah, that's great. Wow, this deck looks really strong right now. All we need is, like, some lands. Um... We had Obosh in our last deck, too, and it was pretty good. Double damage from Grim Dancer, Splendor Mare, Fertilid, Necropanther. Yeah, we're just taking Obosh. Like, it's just a, it's just a really sweet 5-drop. Hunt, Huntmaster Liger. 3-4, when this creature mutates other creatures, you control a plus X, plus X, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Still the best card in the pack. For us. Pouncing Shark is great, but it's definitely just taken for the art. Like, it's definitely <clears throat> it's definitely an option, for sure. Oh, look, another one. Also a Skull Prophet, which is nice. I'll take Skull Prophet here. I like the, the fixing and the milling. Easy, that's a late easy prey. Also, this 3 1 is decent. We don't have many 2 drops. I'll just take the easy prey. Uh, Helica Glider is great. Ooh, oh, Jungle Hollow. <clears throat> yeah, that's an easy choice. I, this actually, this pack is great. Cavern Whisper is great. Main Serval is great for uh, mutating onto. But I think it's important to have a number of these lands, and we only have one so far, so. <clears throat> Although we do have Farfinder and two Migratory Greathorns here. Oh, we get a Cavern Whisper anyway, so that's pretty cool. Plummet. Uh, actually, Goriak seems decent. I'll take the Plummet. Quartzwood Crasher. That guy's good. No land that we care about. Uh, Zagoth Mamba. Not terrible. We have a good amount of <clears throat> mutating. We have Necropanther. We have Huntmaster Liger, Vulpakeet. Two Great Horns, an Oracorn, Cavern Whisper. Yeah, there's a Blood Curdle too, actually. That's probably the pick then. <laughs> I'm super happy this draft is going really well. It will offset the lack of lands and number of opponents that have it during the matches. Well, maybe. Oh, another on color, another on color crystal. Uh, no, that's not very good. It's either Pacifism or Migratory Greathorn number three. <clears throat> hmm. I kind of like Pacifism here. Like, I think two Greathorns is enough, especially because you don't want to, like... Sometimes you, you, need, you need things to mutate onto as well. Another pacifism. Jeez, and a divine arrow. Another splendor mare, too. Like a 3 3 lifelink for 3 is just great. I don't think we need any more playables, though. I think it's just evolving wilds. Oh, a jungle hollow? Ugh, generals and forcers? Eh, it's not as good in... in, <clears throat> in oh, another blood curdle? Jeez. I don't actually think we need the blood curdle. We have a blade banish. We have a blood curdle. We have an easy prey. We have a pacifism. I think I'd just rather have jungle hollow. I know that's weird, but... I want to make sure we have good fixing. Auspicious Starix. Oh, wow. 
didn't someone mention Starks in this very in this very chat like a little bit ago? Oh yeah, Josh did. <clears throat> yeah, we're taking that dude. That's basically a rare in this format. Glowstone Recluse is very good. Um Yeah, we just we're gonna have cuts to make for sure. This is a lot of good cards. Oh, main servals nice to have. Um Lurking Deadeye. You're fine. Work complete. Work complete. Swovel. Oh wow, this little Zagoth Mamba came back? The Zagoth Mamba number five? Oh, what up, Josh? My man. Um, yeah, I'll take the rare. Eh, yeah, I'll take the rare. Divine Arrow came back? It's a lot of times, a lot of times, that's like a blood curdle. <coughs> work, work, work. <coughs> Another plummet? Sure. Our deck seems very good. Huntmaster Liger actually seems like one of the weakest cards in the deck, and that's kind of funny to me. So we have three lands, so we need to make a lot of cuts. What was the first ever, ever limited event I played? <clears throat> it was also, um, it was also a fourth edition limited event, and I had Felden's Cane in my sealed deck because it was the first time I'd ever played a, a sealed deck event. And my opponent like laughed at me when he saw it. He's like, Feel Felden's Cane in sealed?" <laughs> and I was like, "I don't get it." And uh, I'll never forget that. Hold me close. <laughs> there you go, Josh. Thanks for taking the Starix. Josh, I definitely wasn't doing you a favor, buddy. This card is great. Hold my headlights on the highway. All right, so this is 47 cards. That's a lot. We'll take one maimed serval out. What do we got? We got Swallow Hole, Passivism, Easy Prey. Um, blade banish and blood curdle. That's pretty good removal. <clears throat> let's look at. Let's look. Wow, this is a lot of threes. Good gravy. Ramp train. Oh man, Mike eating the dog treat with the friggin' glasses on? That's that's gold, dude. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, it tastes like just grass. Oh, that's man, that's oh, magnificent. God. Oh, that's really bad. Alright. <clears throat> it's okay guys, we only need six cuts. Six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. 16, 17, okay. 
Zaichi, nice. Hope you're enjoying it. I have the Note 10 currently. Um... So one, two, three, four. I think easy prey can go. Like, is that? It just seems the most narrow of our removal spells. I think that's because the dab nugs actually tasted good. The dog treat was not. I think fertilid can go weirdly enough because like we have double great horns. <clears throat> and we have Splendor Mare Grim. Like we have a lot of good three drops. That I would rather. Vulpakeet's kind of meh. I mean, we have we already have one serval. Like, I don't think we need both. Like, we also have Fiend Artisan. Like, I I don't think we're. I mean, we want something to. I guess we do want Migratory Great Horn. I want to take this guy out. Orc Horn. Like, all all of these are great. These are great. <sighs> dislike yeah fertilize a good mute mu mu yeah sure but like what do you mean it gets the counters after mutate I mean it, it keeps its counters you're not a fan of cavern whisper wow I think cavern whisper is great 4-4 <clears throat> four, four mana so that just makes him discard a card I think that guy's good How many creatures we got right now? 18? We can cut another creature. You might cut a migratory greater? No way. These are the this is one of the best cards in the format. <laughs> the, the the literal point of this is to actually not like <clears throat> that's hilarious, because like if our curve is high, I definitely want all the migratory great horns I can get. Cause these guys mutate for three. And they add lands. Like I mean, like this is this this guy's fantastic. No, Sandworm is 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 really good because you can Eerie Ultimate him out. Like you also just cycle it. Like, and the only other four drops are two removal spells and one bristling boar, which I also think is very very good. Yeah, I guess Divine Arrow is fine. And now we're just gonna play we're playing forty one because this deck looks it looks too nice. Okay, so the lands, we have five, six. Eh. No double white, though. And we have swamps, we have five, six, seven, eight. And then four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. So this is seven, 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 essentially. That seems fine. I, I don't think this is I think this is literally the best four drop and it's also basically a three drop because it mutates for three so you're never you're never casting this guy for four you're always mutating it to get to land <clears throat> so I mean if you're if you're attributing those to four drops I, I just don't think that's correct All right, let's do it. It's manageable. Yeah, you definitely try not to cast them as a man. Come on, Great Horn. Let's rip it. I don't think I don't think Migratory Great Horn is competing for a four drop slot because it's a it's you're never you rarely want to cast it for four. <clears throat> I think Boar is great. It's a four three that can't be blocked by more than one guy, so if you mutate onto it, it's just really hard to deal with. No attacks. What is your deal, dude? I hear you. 
I hear you. No blocks. Was this mono white? Oh, and they have a they have a companion. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Uh, no attacks. Last go with the vintage key was a little rough. I agree with you. Uh, no blocks. Sure. Bosch. Oh, all right. Well, that'll do. <coughs> Wait, where's my friggin'? Where's my Godzilla alternate arts? Unbelievable. Yeah, like, this guy, you guys keep looking at this as four, it's very weird. It's like, mutates for three, so, like, you're definitely gonna, like, if you if you cast, like, Farfinder on three, play your land, Margator Great Heart, like, it's, I don't know, it seems definitely not, like, a four drop. Like, also, we have, like, Farfinder, double Great Horn, like, we have lots of ways to get mana out of our deck, uh, which is why we want a decent top end, so. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of, like, the whole point of the deck, but... This is keepable with a far finder. We get a green. We migratory great horn onto the five corner. We get a five far finder. We get a black. That guy's not going to get cast for quite a while. That was a good draw. All right. Now we're doing it. You know, like Whisper? What's Whisper? Oh, Cavern Whisper. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, that is big. green. <clears throat> Let's play this guy. Uh, no attacks. No blocks. That's pretty decent. <sighs> I mean, we could definitely just play this guy. We could also just mutate onto this and then also play Glider or Fiend Artisan. We actually have a lot of options here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six mana, right? We can't cast this, right? Okay. Just making sure. Uh, under. Why would you use all the green? Oh, because that guy costs four anyway, so <clears throat> that's fine. Um, what do we got here? 
Green, 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 black, black. We'll get another black. Play harder. Than that. No attacks. Yeah, I'm presuming they have plus two, plus O. Oh, so, okay, that's fine. I mean, Fiend and just becomes like a 4-4. Four, four. That seems good. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're one man away from actually cycling this in response. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't play this in this. You're just a 2-2? Two -two? Sure. Um, yeah, let's play this guy. <clears throat> and also... Cutie glider with flying... No attacks with this guy. I don't really care about that. <clears throat> um, I feel like we just get in there with Obosh. Six, yeah. <clears throat> so we can get any of our five drops. You can get. S yep, alright. That's. <laughs> yep, that seems good. Yeah, Obosh and Worm dealing, you know, 14. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Fiend is Sorcery Sweep, but I, I, there was no situation where I wanted a Fiend, so. What I do need to do is take a screenshot of my deck so that I know what I can search for. See, that's useful. Little man, let me a man. Um, I don't actually know if the unsanctioned lands are on Magic Online. I know the unhinged and the unglued are, so it would make sense that either if they're not there now, they would eventually be there, but I don't know if they're they're currently there. I'll keep this hand. Turn two artisan into turn three. Something else if we get a land, either Grim Dancer or Glider. Glidey, glidey. Oh, get a load of Triumph over here. Oh, Karuga, wow. <laughs> Am I just constructed or fucking limited? I can't actually tell because both of my last my both of my first two round opponents had companions. So that's pre that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nightmare fuel. Uh, 
Is there any flash creature that can just intercept this guy? I don't think so. Okay. Let's get lifelink and menace right now, because I don't feel like that's going to be contested. Plus, like, we have two removal spells, so, like... What does this guy do? Uh, creature control tremble. Yeah, sure, I don't care about that. <clears throat> Oh yeah, well the 2 mana 2-2 two, two with flash uh, is uncommon and not really uh The octopus too, I guess. Oh, what up, Karuga? You know, putting a menace counter on your bristling boar is actually pretty good. Kill my, my fiend artisan? Ooh, I want to take it. What up, Super Fritz? Are you at the sandwich mines yet, or have you not gone in yet? It's, it's 5 o'clock. You've probably gone in, right? You're probably at work right now, right? Yep, that's pretty good. <clears throat> You're at 9, and I just get to play Obosh and deal you 6? Or... Oh, good gravy. Oh, it's next turn, I guess. I'll Obosh, I guess. <laughs> Darn it. I am sandwich mining as we speak. That's good. That's good. Um, Divine Arrow gets rid of lots of things. That seems good. Just tapping into one of those mayo veins with my standard issue subway pump. Oh, that sounds just terrible. I have no idea what to make of that. <sighs> um you know what sure all right we do need a black source or a green source, rather. So we can cycle Sandy Worm. Ooh, yeah, Sandy Worm. You got it. I don't want to lose any May Days. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even have to watch that clip without laughing. To, to laugh. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at here. All right, that's not a green source. Neither is that. Super cool. Super fucking cool. Arena is a real cool program that has a completely non-broken shuffler. That that there's no way that we've drawn more Margator Great Horns than Green Sources, so that's a real thing that happens. Affinity being a mod is literally yes, it's it's literally a top tier decision. I agree. Leaving Affinity in charge of commands of the clips he's been making for years is just just top tier good decision making, I think.
Yep, that's a that's a dude. Thank you. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna go to the next game because I can't cast my spells and they're still gonna have a six six. And it's just not really where you wanna be, I think I think. Jimmy the Mole, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Six months, my dude. Six months. It's a long time. It's longer than I've been alive. Um, you know, this hand is great if we can hit that that crazy wacky green source that we're looking for. I don't like the changing changing one out for another doesn't make sense to me because like it was just that's a fluke right it's a, we have the same chances of drawing either there's a seven sources of each so if we change one out for another then we have eight six and our, our it's just as likely we have a bunch of white cards with no way to cast white cards in this game you know so it's like it's I don't want to you don't want to mess with like the distribution simply because of of one of one game like. A green would have been great, because then we can play this guy into this guy, but... Yep, and that's... That's how we do it. That's how you lose an arena match with a broken ass deck. Our hand is literally rare, mythic, uncommon, 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 but... No third land. You know what? Cool. Cool. I'll take it, I guess. I feel like y'all are my friends, but I barely talk to any of you. Oh, you got it. It's pretty good. Would you like to come at me, bro? Are you going to play a, a mountain? Oh, you're going to play a rugged highlands. That's That's good. That's good. Hmm. Unfortunately, this doesn't kill anything if we do it. So I almost want to not do it, but like... Just playing Farfinder to hit a land. It still hits a land. Ugh. You got Vigilance? Of course you have Vigilance. Farfinder has Vigilance, so of course you have Vigilance. Let's get another green. It's, I literally spent all day editing people's writing. Yeah, dude, so, like, as someone who has an English degree and who was an editor for, like, ten years, um, yeah, I definitely submit mine relatively error-free. Well, that's good. That's pretty unbeatable. If we hit another land here, we could go auspicious, auspicious Starix and at least block, but currently... Three, four, five. I think it's literally just bristling boar and we just attempt to chump block it. You know, if that works. Interested in any evasion block drafts? Not really. <sighs> Sometimes you draft a really good deck, but then your opponent drafts a better deck. And that's the story of Magic the Gathering. They attack you for 15 exactly. Cool. Well. well, we each had one good game. And then one game where our opponent got a free win. So, what can you do? Uh, I'm posting part of the charity stream tonight and the rest tomorrow, so... And the day after that. <clears throat> oh, Frank versus Frank? Oh man, the mirror match. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Moncala, we had one good game. Uh, yeah, we'll play this. This is fine. Good games, good games. Thank you. Austin Floyd, thank you so much for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oops, all Franks. Yeah, the Frank Mirror match. Thank you. Yeah, also my first two round opponents had uh, have companions, so that's pretty cool. And then, like, I get mana screwed in two games out of three, so... What are you gonna do? Let's go Menace Lifelink. Well, they don't have any creatures, they just go for Lifelink. It doesn't matter. The good time. That's what father likes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so we don't need three planes. I have another fire prophecy that I will use to kill your bristling boar as well. I'm waiting for it. Waiting. Okay, they're just gonna cycle forever. Cycle forever. That's fine. Oh, we got Lou Bego over here. That's the mom Mamba number five. That's the that's the joke there. Oh, you can tap my guy. Okay. Good. Good job. I think it's just better to play this guy. Like, I... like we don't need the life right now. And if I can get like a migratory great horn, I can play this guy into great horn. And I think that's probably better than like, because you don't the ability is not relevant right now. I think we can gain four, but it's whatever. Did I ever get a chance to draft Unstable? Yeah, I drafted a bunch of Unstable. Me and, me and Rob did the pre-release together. Unstable was a blast. <clears throat> Wait, I got cycle that guy? But you love cycling. All right. Sure. Trade? Okay. We need a green and or a black. Well, we need both, but... We need a two blacks or a green and a black. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm getting at here. Oh, you're gonna kill this guy too? Man, they're hovering over a lot of our things. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, we Sure. That's literally the exact opposite fucking land we need. That's incredible. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. I mean, presumably we can ear ultimate him this game. Should be good. Is it X or less? Oh, that's good. Four, five, six, seven. So we could do it for six? Oh, you're just gonna keep tapping it every turn. Got it. Yep, let's do that. Let's 
Cycle, cycle again? Uh, over. I'll take it. Blade banish. Okay. You tap this guy down too? Wow. So much tapping. How many cycling? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What does this guy do? Oh, it's just a it's just a crystallized crystal crystalline giant. Okay, sure. Let's draw. Well, black only gets us like four permanents, I guess. It's not super exciting. Okay. Um. Why is my computer going so slow right now? That's the question. PC Vogel, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's attack with this. Let's see what happens. Do we do we actually cast Greater Sanor or do we cycle it, try to hit a land, and then and then Eerie Ultimatum? I guess this guy gets real bad if we just I think we're just casting it. Matthew Ori coming through with the baby horse pictures. Look, look at that beautiful lady. Adorable. Adorable. Oh, Swallow Hole is interesting here. Um, so what do you have? Menace and First Strike. Okay, well, I'm just going to go to combat here and you can do what you got to do. So we have green, green, black, black. We need a black source, basically. Oh, what up, McGimp? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, good times. Hmm. 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 What did you get? Flying. Sure. Three, four, five. And let me get. You have a second Zenith Flare, right? Because, of course, you do. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Down here, salt is a way of life. Fucking amazing. Sweet format. really annoying.
Well, it's definitely not purring. That's definitely meowing. Those are two def two definitely two different two different cat traits. Uh, I think the new mulligan rule is great. I think the old mulligan rule was 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 ass, to be quite honest. You got it. So, so far the targets on board have been like 2-3, two, 2-3, three, 3-3, two, three, 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 whenever I've had Zagoth Mamba out, so it just doesn't do anything, unfortunately. A lifelink? Yeah, I'm just gonna get in there. Came here to celebrate and to support. Okay, yeah, sure. And support your acknowledgement of the increase in solo. Seriously, I noticed it too and appreciate you working on it. My support you have regard. Peace of Ogle. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so we can sack this for a four drop. It does not seem that good. See, this is this is how you know you have a, a a draft format that's on the verge of being trash, is when your opponent's playing literal cards they can't even cast just for the cycling, just because the multiple copies of the uncommon in their deck are so broken that you can play off color cards simply because they they let you play fewer cards in your deck. Like that's just kind of eh, just a little weird. What'd you get? Hexproof. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. That's fucking incredible. Wow. It's fucking fantastic. You can tell you how you give me mad, like Jesus, that's amazing. Hmm. That's pretty fascinating. You could lightning bolt here if you like. It's fucking just incredible. 3 3 lifelink flying hex proof. Yep, and of course you have fire prophecy. Oh boy. Well, at least you get a 4 4, I guess. I can hold back to block, but I don't know if they do have another fire prophecy with four cards in their hand, five cards in their hand, or if they have like a zenith. <clears throat> yep. Absolutely amazing. Hexproof is a really cool mechanic. I think more cards should have hexproof. I'm a big fan of like when I when I have cards that interact with my opponent and then they just stop doing that. That's actually really cool for me. So 
we got black, 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 we get another green. Fucking amazing. Your deck is actual trash. You just have two fucking two zeniths and a snare tactician. Oh man. I think you played the same four cards each game. That's amazing to me. I'll play my one my one crystalline golem, my one snare tactician, and my one two zeniths. And that's how I win all my games. <clears throat> Same we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Like eight cards in your graveyard. Eight, nine cards in your graveyard right now are actual trash that don't do anything without without the zenith. Like that's incredible to me. I'm sorry, what? Oh, we're searching for a basic land. I was like, what's going on? I'm sorry, what now? Oh, that's a big boy. This is lethal, right? Because <laughs> of the Obosh, this is literally 20 damage. Oh, wow. That's pretty hilarious. I guess they, I mean, they're, they're going to have the Zenith, right? Like, they have Zenith in hand, so they're just choosing what to use it on. So. Yep, obviously. Cool. <laughs> That's... Well, it doesn't go face, though, I guess. Well, they'll just have to play their second one. Now they get to... Uh, death touch. Sure. I'll go to ten. You'll cycle a card, and then you'll cast your second zenith, right? So... Oh, you're just going to play a dirtily idiot. Sounds good. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So what is this? Four and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This gives menace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard your last card for me, will you? Cool. Oh, man. Mana costs two or less. That doesn't include anything in their deck. Plummet could be decent if they get... Uh, they have the stupid bird. And they also have... Um, why are we not playing pacifism? We boarded it out because it doesn't seem great against them. Uh, this guy gets reach, which is actually not terrible. I don't think it's better than any of these other guys, though. Eh, Vulpakit seems alright. I mean, like, 
it doesn't block their if their three three gets flying it doesn't block that like it doesn't block their other guy there i guess it gives flying to something else i don't know i mean i, I like plummet more than Vul vulpakeet Actually, I don't think Blade Banish is great here. I think I think probably uh, Plummet's probably better. Like the only four plus power creature we saw was literally the one we could could plummet. Why play Death's Oasis? What does that mean? Why play it? I mean, because it gets back our creatures. I don't understand. So, like, if an Obosh dies, we get, like, a 4-drop back. If a 4-drop dies, we get any of these awesome 3-drops. Like, why? Well, I don't understand why, like... Because the card seems good. Because it gain, And you can also just gain, like, 6 life if you need it out of nowhere. Uh, keep. Don't love it in draft. All right, I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your that is your right. I mean, I, I think it's probably worse than constructed. Jesus, like this deck is full of trash. It's literally full of like cyclers. Like that's all it is. It's just off color cards they can never cast. Like it's so weird. I mean, I feel like Death's Oasis is great here because if they're gonna if they're gonna zenith us out of the game for for Exaxes or, you know, for two more than Exaxes, then like we can sack the Oasis and gain like six life. Uh, I actually think that it's pretty relevant in this matchup. That's kind of funny. Plus, they have multiple fire prophecies, so like I, I don't know. It just feels like it's a completely fine. Uh... Let's get a swamp here. Okay, will you stop? Good gravy, cat. And we have Eerie Ultimatum mana at some, mana, mana at some point. Well, that's real cool. This exile? Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. What's your deal? Why are you being so loud today? Hmm? I fed you this morning. You already had your lunch. Unbelievable. <clears throat> oh, that's wild. 
divine arrow. Who do I divine arrow? I'll divine arrow this guy. Sure. Yep. I assume you're not going to block. We're just going to play Reckless on here. Maybe? Eh. With the tapper, it's kind of... It's kind of meh. But the land is nice, right? If they have fire prophecy in hand, it's just—I mean, like it's—it's it's making our—it's making our ear ultimatum just better and better. But they did not do that. Okay. Gonna block? Oh! No. Okay. I will end the turn. Oh, I'm going to cycle my greed card that can't be ever casted by deck. My deck only has 14 actual cards in it. So we only get one card back right now with ultimatum. That's really sad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, so that's seven out of eight, right? One. Yeah, Diviner is the only non cycling card in their graveyard, so seven. What other flyer? The Crystalline Golem piece of shit. The rare one, if it gets flying. We want it to get flying before Hexproof. How many core drafts have you done? And what is your opinions on the power of these cards relative to the past few sets? I don't know the second answer. The the first answer I this this is like the fifth draft I've done. Although I've done pretty well in a lot of them. I think I did like 303021. Oh. A prickly marmoset. Oh, we can just assume this guy's always gonna have the goods. I feel like we just alpha, like, I mean, if they're going to cycle, like, they can't, if they don't have anything down, like, it's pretty obvious, but I think we're th at third 11, like, if they trade with one dude and take five here when we play Greater Sandworm, it's actually pretty insane. Oh, nice Marmot. <laughs> also, having, a uh, uh, Amphibious Rodent within city limits. It's not legal either, man. Hey, this is a private residence, man. Okay, we got it. Make my eerie ultimatum. Um, 
If you put a card from your hand on the bottom, I don't know what they put. I guess we don't get to know. I feel like we're winning this game. I don't know. Like, I mean, they have six mana, so they can only Zenith, Zenith and then Zenith. And they still only have seven in here. So they need, like, three Zeniths to actually do anything right now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the only two cards that Divine Arrow and Fire Prophecy out of nine. So seven, seven, uh, Cycly Boys. And you're probably going to have to tap this guy down. You're going to block here and cycle. Oh. Fascinating. Okay. So eight, right? Bring a ballist for the cycle tally. Okay. Oh, so you're going to zenith this guy. That seems good. We're probably going to ear ultimate him after this because then we get a, like four cards back, which seems pretty good. <coughs> oh, and this actually we get a far finder back too, which is pretty decent. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, you're just going to go face. Yeah, we're still going to ultimate him here. Here we go. Yep, that's their... That's the ninth cycling card, and then they're just gonna Zenith us. Yep, I'm... Fucking <sighs> exhausting. <laughs> oh, God. Cool deck. <laughs> Lots of skill. Thank you guys for watching as I go 1-2 with a really, really sweet deck. Uh, hopefully you guys realize that's as much horse shit as I do. And I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out managewriters.com, coolstiffing.com, patreon.com, <laughs> and twitch.tv slash I'll see you next time.